space, deep, dark, dangerous, most definitely. Various astronauts and cosmonauts have reported a plethora of health-related issues with regard to their time in space. Numerous organs, tissues, and even specific cells are negatively impacted by either long-term or short-term travels. These travels are based on an extreme environment. Space is unforgiving. It's based on low temperatures, low pressure points, nutrient deficiencies, and of course, ultraviolet radiation. Multiple studies have tried to tackle the issues with regards to the general impact our human body will have when exposed to space in your space environments. These environments are very dangerous and also very mysterious. So we have more questions than we have answers with regards to general elucidations of how our body will react within space as well as the possible aftermath of these uh, specific exposures. These exposures are of course also based on the fact that we have no proper elucidations on our time within space and how our body will be impacted. So, my study focuses on using the simplest form of a genetic structure, namely our hair. So the hairs will be undyed, dyed, male and female. They will be sent off into space, more specifically within the stratosphere, exposed to these specific environmental factors and then sent back down to be compared with hairs that have not left their natural environment, so Earth. The purpose of this experiment is to gain a better understanding of how these reactions and impacts will be progress with our possible endeavors to travel interstellarly. So these specific studies are very important in order to broaden our understanding of how the biological anatomy of our body will have the possibility of enduring longer and longer travels within space. Now you may be asking yourself, why not simply use an astronaut and see how their body will react within space? Well, the short answer to that is, scientists are doing that, but it's not enough. Multiple studies are required, and even with a decade-long research done by either NASA, Roscosmos, and even JAXA, and various other agencies with regards to space, it's still not enough, and more questions are posed than answers are obtained. So I want my study to be based on the notion of possible travels to Mars and beyond. Thank you for your attention.